Neighborhood Glide Memorial Church and Foundation is celebrating 60 years of serving San Francisco's Tenderloin neighborhood with free Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners and services and a lot more. A lot more. And now a major leadership transition is taking place here, but not only a transition in leadership, also the launch of a new strategy to take Glide forward. In the spotlight tonight, our Pam Moore is here with the story. Pam. Hi, Ken and Vicki. Yes, Glide Forward is actually the name of the new plan for the San Francisco Institution. The iconic leader of this historic church, Reverend Cecil Williams, is now officially passing the baton to a dyna dynamic woman with deep San Francisco roots. And there is a lot of excitement about this changing of the guard. Let me introduce you to Dr. Gina Frommer. Honestly, it feels like I stepped into a place that, that's been waiting for me for a long time. Passionate, down to earth, and determined, Dr. Gina Frommer is a sixth generation San Franciscan raised in Bayview Hunters Point. She led a number of nonprofits in the city before coming to Glide. So, this is Cecil's office. Look at the amazing history that's represented here. She is well aware of the rich legacy laid down before her by the decades of leadership from Reverend Cecil Williams and his late wife, Jan Mirkatani. After more than 700 applicants for the job, there was Gina. Cecil and Jan being the first 60 years, and we now need to kick off the second 60 years. A breathtaking strategy, and we needed a breathtaking CEO. And then Gina shows up. A packed audience turned out for Glide's annual holiday jam. It was a fundraiser, but also a moment to honor 94-year-old Cecil Williams. The Glide of keeping on and moving forward and making things happen is for us to never forget where we came from. And that is to be the roots of the community. Reverend Williams interviewed and approved of Gina, who was officially introduced to supporters at the event. for Glide, for him to hand this off to someone like Gina, she's going to knock it out of the park. Glide deserves this, Cecil deserves this, the city deserves this, and I feel really, really charged up about it. In addition to her job experience, Gina brings something else to Glide. Many years ago, as a young mother trying to make ends meet, she turned to Glide for help. As a young mother, I got on a bus from Bayview, called three, probably four buses, you know, we have I'm just one generation out of poverty, Pam. I want every family to know that they can come and get that, that safety net in that moment that you need it. Because I didn't need it. Three years after that, I was working and I was going to school and I, I didn't feel like I didn't need it. But somebody, another family took my spot. Now, Gina is busy learning about her new job, her clients, and everything she can about this historic church. Well, Glide for the last 60 years has focused pretty much exclusively on the Tenderloin. The pandemic has increased the number of food insecure and homeless people in San Francisco, and they can now be found across the entire city. So we've increased our geographic scope to be the entire city of San Francisco. The Glide Forward strategy is an ambitious one. San Francisco, and particularly the Tenderloin neighborhood, present huge challenges. Glide's $32 million budget will be put to the test. The new plans call for expanding services beyond the Tenderloin, more health services, mobile clinics, additional kitchen locations, extended family services, outreach, and more. What will always remain at the heart of Glide, from Cecil and Jan, and now to Gina, inclusivity, social justice, and love. I hope to achieve as much love as possible and make love the mantra of my life. What I want to change is the world for those kids, that they don't have to grow up in poverty. And, and my ultimate goal is to break the pipeline to poverty. You grew up in the Tangeloin, you think that, or Bayview, Hunters Point, you think this is your life, you can change it in one generation. And if we invest in those kids and make sure that they have what they need, 
Yes, and Gladney is going to be a place for that. 60 years ago, Reverend Cecil Williams started the foundation and all of the services which are so familiar to the Bay Area. And in light of all of his life's work and service for fighting social justice and holding up the community, there is an effort underway now to get him recognized with a Presidential Medal of Freedom. You can reach out to Glide if you would like more information on that effort. Cecil Williams, 94 years old. We have all covered yeah, oh, a story yeah. at Glide. Yeah, well, you know, quite a years. legacy. He yeah. Yeah. And she's really picked up the baton. She has. She has. For anyone who has ever done volunteering or gone to any of the, uh, you know, the Glide Memorial Services, it's fantastic. Oh. It's a joyous experience. Yeah. And can people it still is. sign up? Can they? Oh my gosh! Just roll up your sleeves. Absolutely. And show up Gina and wants you to come and roll up your sleeves and not only donate your time, donate your money. And as you saw, the choir and the church there, um, they still have such a spirited. Um, lively, emotion-filled uh, service that's very rich and rewarding when you go to visit. Yeah, so. they welcome. Fills your soul. Fills yes, your soul. Yes. This is a time of year for it, too. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Pam.